Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl Autumn here. So in today's video, I will be giving you a tour, an updated tour of my greenhouse and the plants that I currently have in my bedroom. But before we get into it, please remember to like and subscribe and watch my video all the way through. It really helps my channel, so let's get into it. Okay guys, before we get into my greenhouse, I just wanted to do a shout out at 1156 East from Instagram. These are my Christmas gift from my husband. I have three pair, but this is the first pair that I am wearing. It is my Hoya Hindu rope, and I am so excited. They are a black owned business, and they are based out of Louisiana, so I just wanted to give them a shout out. And if you guys are ever in the need of some different, I mean, I mean exquisite, earrings check 1156 east out on instagram all right so here is an overview of my greenhouse and the plants that are currently in it i moved this greenhouse around a lot and I'm just very indecisive on where I want to put it and where it will get the best lighting. And I think it will be here in this west facing window. And I do um, put the blinds up every day. It's just right now I didn't want it to be too backlit. So the first plant is going to be my Ludicia Discolored Jewel Orchid. This has been in sphagnum moss for quite a while. I had to cut it up because it was getting leggy and I thought it would just have its best chance in sphagnum moss. I don't do well with water propagating these, so I just think this was the best medium for this. No new growth happening right now, um, but it's a beautiful plant. If my camera can pick it up, it does have a shimmer to it. It's a striking plant. I really would love to get um, have different varieties of jewel orchid. So the next up is going to be my goldfish plant. It's putting out new growth, it's just slowed down. I got this for $3 at Roots Nursery. Not much to say about this plant. I love the leaves, the flowers are beautiful. They really do look like goldfish, so there's that plant. I hope you guys can see it. Here is my micans. I cut up my micans, it kept getting thrips. So I just wanted to start over. I put it in this cute flamingo, let love grow, ceramic planter. Thought it would be cute. And then as you can see, it's putting out a new leaf. So it has some shimmer to it. Not much to say about micans. I'm not like a big fan. I mean, so I'm okay if it lives or if it doesn't live, but I love the shimmer to it, so it's a fast growing plant. I do have cuttings downstairs propagating in my um, greenhouse, so we'll see what comes of them, but other than that, that's it. Back here, I just put this in this container of sphagnum moss. These are two um, cuttings, node cuttings from either my philodendron fiddle leaf or my I would have to say my philodendron what is a moonlight something like that I'm not sure but I'll be able to tell once leaves start forming on it but nothing to show you guys as of yet over here I have my let's see Pe Pelionia repens trailing watermelon begonia this is such a beautiful plant. The new leaves, they come out so dark and then they have this light green in the middle. My favorite is this little, little leaf that's growing right here at the tip. Fast growing plant. I did cut this up, but the I tried to root it, but it didn't take. I only have one other cutting that is fully rooted downstairs, but other than that, that's it. I'm getting ready to pot this up in a bigger um, container because this dries out very easily and very fast and I noticed that this plant likes to be moist so I just think it being in a better pot it'll hold more moisture with having more soil here is my raffidophora decursiva 
great plant to have. I've had this plant for maybe two months, maybe, and it has put out this new growth right here, which is turning into a leaf. And this plant will let you know when it's thirsty, the leaves will um, fill thinner and the leaves will droop. So it does like for its soil to be moist. I picked this up from Pepper Greenhouse for $17.50. This is such a great plant. I love that it will get philistrations in it and it'll look like a palm leaf. So I'm looking forward to that. So these are the plants that are on the top shelf. And then I do have a spider farmer grow light. I am excited to have this. I feel like I set my plant game up having this. I got this on sale on Amazon for a little under $80 and it is definitely worth it. After three days of having this in my greenhouse, I noticed that plants started putting out new leaves. So if you don't already have one, you need to pick this girl light up. It comes in different varieties. So just pick one up. All right, so here we are on the second shelf. It is quite full. A majority of it are Hoyas so I am going to start in the back and then just work my way around so be patient with me guys so let's go all right here is my Hoya Carnosa green in this day of the dead planter I picked this up about two years ago from a nursery it was a very old Hoya you could tell um, it was neglected and I had to separate it um, just so it could start, you know, putting out new growth and it took a while for it to establish itself. And I have been spraying all of my Hoyas with orchid mist and it has put out this new growth right here. I'm very happy with this plant. At first I wasn't, but now I am having it under the spider farmer light. I have noticed more veining in the leaves they are more pronounced so great plant here is my Hoya Carnosa it is putting out a little new growth let's see if you can see if it'll pick it up in the middle not sure right there but other than that not much to say about this plant um, very different from the Hoya Carnosa so these are more longer leaves and I don't know, these are more rounded, so I'm not sure. Here is my Crimson Queen. It only has maybe three or four leaves that have a little bit of white around the edging. It's putting out a new growth right here on the tip. Not doing much. I do have to water these two Hoyas quite often, so I'm not sure why, but I do. Here is my Hoya Crimson Princess. I just recently cut off, it was starting to trail. And I did that because I wanted to see if it would push new growth out right here on top. It hasn't done much for me except for put out this new growth and that's it. And this Discidia Million Hearts has put out new growth. I'm getting ready to up pot this as well because being in the sphagnum moss, it dries out fast. Here's my Hoya Wayetii. Let's see, Let's zoom in some for you. And then it's putting out a little leaf right here and then something right there, a little something right there. It took a while for this plant to start growing for me in my care. I picked this plant up for $8.99. Can't remember the name of the nursery, but it was somewhere in Northern Delaware. Here is my Hindu rope, my Hoya Carnosa Compacta. Rescued this plant from Lowe's. This is all I could salvage, but it was a beautiful plant at first, but at Lowe's they overwater their plants, so this is all that I could save. It needs to be watered because it's, it's really wrinkled, so I'll be watering that soon. I need to repot this because I think the soil is too chunky for this Hoya, so it's not retaining any water. Here is my Hoya Pubicalix Pink Splash. Love this Hoya fast growing. I recently cut it and it has put out a lot 
of new leaves as you can see right here and right here it really this is the Hoya that really loves the orchid mist I would have to say I haven't seen any of the silvering turn pink yet being under the spider farmer I may move it up to the first shelf just so it can be closer to the light and then here is my Hoya compacta variegated Hoya or Hindu root excuse me guys um not doing much it has a peduncle not sure if you'll be able to see it let's see right right in there let's see I'm not sure it might be too dark right in there and slow growing Hoya not much to say I just recently watered it um it's pretty I'm glad that I have it so maybe once you know, spring, summer comes around and it starts to put out new growth, it'll put out more variegated because it's not that much variegation around the edging. Here is my Obovada Splash. It's putting out new growth right here. Excited, took a long time. And then right here as well. Love this plant. I love this leaf that it's different than the other ones. I love the speckling on it. Um, great plant. Let's see. What's next? I'll do my Cretaceae. So I picked this up from Peppers for $24.50. It is putting out a little bit of new growth. I had to cut it back some because the leaves were falling off. I'm still trying to figure out how to water this Hoya, not going to lie. Um, I seem to think the soil is all the way dry and then it you know drops leaves or the leaves start to turn yellow so I'm still trying to figure this out if you have any tips for me please leave them in the comments greatly appreciate it I just picked this Hoya up from pepper let's see I think December 20th I picked this plant up and it is December 28th happy birthday to my baby girl Jocelyn she turns 11 today so I picked this Hoya up and that crimson queen back here is taking too long to put out any variegation and I'm very impatient with that so I just picked this one up look at all this new growth I am just so happy look at this color of this leaf it is beautiful all this new growth and then this tendril it is currently reaching up through here sometimes you know and then it'll wrap its way around it so I'll just let it go when I close the greenhouse back. This is my Hoya Grisalis. It is putting out new growth. It's a thin leaf Hoya, so I have to be careful watering this because the leaves do turn yellow and fall off very easily. It does have one little leaf growing in. Got this for $8.99 as well. This is my rarest Hoya in my collection. This is my Hoya Finlaysonii. I got this off of Etsy. And I just think this is a great plant. It's putting out a little bit of new growth, but not doing too much. I'm waiting for it to sun stress, hopefully. All of these Hoyas, I'm waiting for them to sun stress. Here is my Hoya Rebecca, I believe this is. I got this free in an Etsy order. Um, if you, if it is the Hoya Rebecca or if it's not, please let me know because I'm not sure that's what I have it labeled as and it hasn't done anything for me i water this all the time it's very thin i'm not sure if it's going to do anything for me honestly here is my hoya pachiclata took forever to grow for me it came with just this one leaf um in the middle it's putting out something right here and then it did put out all of this and it's putting trying to put out three new leaves right now and um I don't know they said this is a slow growing Hoya but I think once it established itself and it gets you know familiar with you know its environment it just starts to grow I believe that this one is a um, Hoya that really will sun stress faster so I will be moving this one up closer probably to the light as well here is my Hoya sunrise that I got with the Rebecca and the Finlaysonii this one started to sun stress um, the quickest for me 
it's not putting out any new growth i'm still not sure if it will just the way that it's cut so fingers crossed um great hoya to have though i would love a larger plant of the sunrise i picked this hoya i excuse me i ordered this hoya species affinity bertonia from jacqueline's jungle um i got this i believe for 35 dollars. it was free shipping this hoya is starting to stress for me as you can tell on this one i hope it's not getting like you know too much sun where it's being bleached out it hasn't put out any new growth for me i think it's still just you know trying to get you know acclimated to my home but other than that it's a great hoya i love the feel of the leaves you know after it's watered the thickness of it it's a little fuzzy but you know i'm just glad to have this cutting all right, let's see, am I missing anything? All right, so next up is going to be my Hoya Lacunos Indonesia. This Hoya I picked up from Pepper. It was slow growing, I mean slow growing, and I had to figure out, you know, the medium that it preferred, and it loves sphagnum moss, and it loves orchid mist, and as you can see, it's put out a lot of new growth for me. And I'm just going to keep it in this sphagnum moss, you know, I guess for forever because it loves it so much in here. It really doesn't like soil in my care. So great Hoya. Glad that I picked this up. I really didn't hear about this Hoya until I um, came across it at Pepper's. All right. And last up on this shelf is going to be my peperomia pink lady um guys she's not my favorite plant anymore can you believe that but i still do love her i still do love the shimmer and the shine to it if you can see it um i bottle bottom water this plant only it's starting to fill out you can see the new leaves coming in fast growing plant Still, you know, careful not to overwater it or underwater it. So it really does speak to you when it is thirsty. So pick this plant up. It's a great find. So here are my Hoyas, majority of my Hoyas on this second shelf. This um, humidifier I picked up, well, it's a diffuser that I use as a humidifier. I picked this up from Walmart and it really works well. The humidity, um, the percentage can get up to 89 in here, so it really does help. So here is an overview of the Hoyas on my second shelf. And guys, I, f I forgot to show you this one. This is my Monstera Siltipicana. I ordered this also um, from Jacqueline's Jungle. Um, fast growing plant this is the newest leaf as you can tell it's lighter than the rest of them um i think i'm going to be making some changes because it's been in the sphagnum moss and i think i want to try to put it in soil and put it on a trellis just so the leaves can um, be larger this is a great plant i love the texture of it i love the way that it looks um it's very easily to under water this plant and over water I've lost maybe two leaves just still trying to figure this out but it's a great plant I just think it's beautiful and I just can't wait until you know I just put it on the trellis and have it in a cute nice little pot so this is the last plant of the greenhouse so I have these two ZZ sitting behind my greenhouse just catching light from my spider farmer um, grow light this is the raven and then this is just a regular green form. I'm getting ready to put these two downstairs by my fireplace because I think the light there will be good for them. I don't wanna to get too close because they are dusty and I don't have much to say about them. So these are two, I picked both of these up from Lowe. So that's them. All right, so starting right here, this is a North east ish facing window here is my sebu blue my epi Prim primnum panatum 
Um, this is some cuttings that I took from the mother plant. I rooted them and this is its own plant. Here is a Christmas. This is a Christmas gift from my mom. So pretty. Can't think of the name. Hold on. A, hyac a blue hyacinth. And it looks purple. Smells amazing. Let me see. Smells amazing. Oh my gosh. So pretty. And it also has a second one starting to grow you can see I mean uh, every time you can just smell it before you even walk through my door all right here is my silvery Ann. what is it skin is it skin that's argyrus something like that silvery Ann. my begonia amphioxus still trying to figure out how to water this begonia Leaves get crunchy, they fall off. Please help. Um, I do love it. I wanna see it at its full potential, but I don't know what to do with it. Here is my white bird of paradise. These are its newest leaves right here and right here. As much humidity as I give this plant, it still has brown edging. I. Excuse me, I did have to cut off three leaves because they were very bad off from not having the humidity it needed. Here is this, I just picked this up. Let's see, it's December 28th. I picked this up Christmas Eve, I believe. So December 24th. This is a larger Hoya species affinity Bertonii, but they have it labeled as Bilibata or your DS70, which is wrong. I am so glad that I picked this plant up. I just always wanted a larger version of this and I just want it stressed. I can't wait to see it so like sun stress. I'm thinking that I'm going to put this in my greenhouse as well on the first shelf under the grow light. So I picked this up for, let's see. $14.98 so get to your Lowe's and see if they have them there then here is my Skindapsis Moonlight Trubii pick this up from Lowe's as well fast growing for me has put out so many leaves here is my Ripsalis that's growing for me I just recently moved it into this window this is my Skindapsis pick this Argerius sitting back here. And then back here is my silvery ant, as you can see on this leaf right here. Um, it's putting out, you know, little growth here and there, but still trying to figure out the watering conditions as well. Here is my Monstera, sorry guys, my Monstera Deliciosa. It put out this leaf right here and that's it it's still trying to harden off after it's been a long time so i guess because it's going you know it's winter time so everything's taking forever to grow here is my monstera adansonii this um is two rooted cuttings one was in soil and then the other one was and Paralyte, but they are both doing well. They perk back up, so everything is good. Here is my Exotica favorite plant. I love the way that it looks. Fast growing for me. I recently put it on this pole. New leaf right here. Um, tells you when it needs watering because multiple leaves will curl under or the leaves will get soft. Here is my Raphidophora tetrasperma. Newest leaf right here, putting trying to put a new leaf out right here. Loves being on this pole. I love the way that it's growing out. It's like curving. So I'm just gonna let it do its thing. Pick this planter up from Walmart. Great find. If you're in the need of pots, try Walmart. I believe it was maybe $250 or $350 for this pot. Here is that rooted cutting from my mother plant, Brantianum. Still trying to figure this plant out. See the leaves are coming in small. Then it's a yellowing. Not sure, but 
I don't know. It's here. It's still growing. So I'm just going to leave it alone. Here is my Manjula Pathos. And then it looks like Enjoy. And then it looks like Global, global Green. Oh, and they are, they do have Global Green plants now at Lowe's. So I didn't pick one up. It's not my thing, but they do have them. And then I love how this um, is all green trailing down, but this is such a lovely plant. Fast growing. I did have it in my greenhouse and it put out tons of new growth, but then I just moved it here because it was starting to take over. So it's living its best life. Um, so here is an overview of the plants that are in the window. Then lastly, right here, we have this black lipstick pagoda. Love this plant, it's a favorite. I love the way the leaves look and feel. Look at the backing of that, that is so beautiful. It matches my nails. And I just have it in this seashell hanger that I put, picked up from the beach, but it's living its best life. I believe I'm gonna take some cuttings. I just have one fully rooted downstairs, but I would love multiple plants of this to sell to you guys. So here's that. So, here we go. Hopefully I'm not missing any plants. I think I got everything. So, and I think I may have two more plants to show you guys. All right, guys, excuse the water. It's nasty. I just changed it. This plant, I don't know. I ordered this off of Pepper Greenhouse and it was doing fine and then it just started to decline. Um, I believe, honestly, looking at this now, this is my, hold on, oh my gosh, I can't think, brain fart. If you guys, I don't know, honestly. So guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you loved all the plants in my greenhouse and in my bedroom, I know I do. I still can't believe I have this Hoya, but I'm so excited. But until next time, guys, be blessed. Bye.